Hello everyone. How's everybody, how's everybody doing? Happy Monday. Thank you all so much for being here. We are going to try a new recipe tonight as per usual. I saw a salmon, what is it called again? Salmon sushi wrap. I am not a big salmon connoisseur, but I, I mean, I'm not a big sushi connoisseur, but I saw a recipe that I want to give a try to. So we are going to make that tonight. Should be pretty straightforward. Um, so we've got a grocery order that just came in. We're going to undo or unbox our ingredients. And then we're going to get started and see how this goes. But for anybody new here, I know we have a lot of new people here. Please allow me to introduce myself. Hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to another struggle cooking class where I am not a professional chef. Nor am I a professional YouTuber. I'm just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. So whatever brings you here, you are most welcome. As always, we are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. So I'm going to take attendance. We've got TikTok. Hello, TikTok. Hello, IG. And we've got Facebook and YouTube. I think I also shared it to Twitter. I am Maggie, the substitute teacher on all platforms, and we are growing. So if you are a day one, welcome back. If you are a new one, welcome to class. So let me see if, uh, if these old eyes can take attendance. It's a little bit late for us, you all. My oldest had an interview for his first summer job, so... Fingers crossed. Let's see if he does well on this Zoom. I'll check uh, check on Marcus later on. But let me see if I can see who's here. All right. Um, gosh. Hi. <laughs> Someone says hi, Medea. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Hello. Um, the Ram Ran Bear. Hello, Joseph. Hello, Auntie. Hello, Sophia. It's a little hard for me to see. I had to push the. Um, TikTok back so that you all can see the counter a little bit because it's hard uh, to do. Let's see who we have watching on um, IG. Hello, everybody. We have JK. Thank you for being here. Sarah, Zero Carb, uh, Crochelle's Boutiques, Sheva TV. Oh, thank you, Alicia Clay. She says I look lovely. Thank you. Oh, feeling a little bit tired. Honestly, I'm hungry and I was trying to wait to eat this. I should have had like a protein smoothie or something. This is a little bit late for me, but thank you. So if I seem a little slow, that's why. Hello, Henrietta. Thank you for being here. Ocho. Oh, hey, Victoria. Roger. Sim, uh, Simon. Tom Tom. Ari. Affinity. Dr. Benton. Edgar. And hello, 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 everybody coming in on IG. We have new subscriptions on IG. I'm building them out. They're starting at 99 cents where you all will get behind the scenes. You'll get advance notice uh, if you want to support the channel. Uh, I am now monetized on IG, so you can check out our new subscriptions that just launched yesterday. And then let's come over here. Who do we have on Facebook and YouTube? We have happiness of no carbs says, OMG, I can't wait. I hope it's good. Uh, I'm feeling like something salty and savory. Actually, anything would be good <laughs> right now. We have Mallory Braswell coming in. She says, hello, everyone. Femininity TV, thank you for bringing the pink flowers. I love that. Geneva Madison, hello, Maggie and everyone. Hello, my dear. Hi to John Smith. Hi, oh, hello to Perez Family Boss. Are those uh, puppies? I thought they were flowers. Thank you for being here. My first time seeing you here. Hello, Bonnie Young. Lauren, Lauren, our uh, community travel agent. I talked to Lauren today and uh, we are discussing the options for a Maggie the Substitute Teacher cruise. You all um, that are not new, have heard us talk about that before sometime in the fall. So if you all are interested in doing like a meetup over a cruise, you can put the cruise ship emoji in the chat, more details to come. But Lauren has a family business that's a travel agency. And so she is going to be doing all of the legwork for us. So I'm really excited. I've asked her to look in the November time frame after Thanksgiving. It would be a birthday cruise for me. So if you all are interested, stay tuned. We have Belinda Britt in the house. My first time seeing you here. Hello, my dear. 
Craig Lamar is back. Hello and hey. Mallory says, I love any sushi that is spicy. All right, so this recipe, and I will show you all the video. There's not an actual recipe. I actually linked it in the um, description. This is an Instagram reel. That's a kid's cooking channel. So this could be great for the kiddos. And she does use sriracha, which is a spicy, like Asian flavor. Anybody on TikTok and Instagram, if you want to see the side by side, you can come over to Facebook or YouTube, uh, Maggie, the substitute teacher. And I am going to, well, we've got a few options here. I'm actually going to air fry the salmon. If you want it raw, you can do it that way, but we're going to follow her recipe. I don't know if she used canned or what she used, but we'll take a look at it. All right. I have no idea what this means. Craig says, hide the money. Okay. Rihanna says, yum. Thank you so much. He's laughing. Miss Red TV, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the love. Jurgen says, good morning. Jurgen in Germany, it's early for you. Thank you so much. But I'm sure you have your plate close by and tucked in. We have Gina Bina in the house. Good evening, my dear. And Tasha with the Purple Hearts. Thank you so much. If anybody wants to be counted present, you're more than welcome to shout yourself out. If you prefer to watch from the clouds and you know who you are, you are always most welcome here. All right, so I'm going to clean the counters, get my uniform on, wash my hands, and then we will watch this video, okay? So let's see. How are we doing? All right. Hope everybody's doing well. I hope you had a good weekend. So I'll always start with a clean cooking surface. That way, in case I drop anything since I'm greedy, we don't feel so bad about our kitchen snacks. All right. All right, so we'll let that air dry. Let's clean our hands. We have Erin Laura coming in from Canada, one of my day one moderators. Hello, my dear. And Shelby says, good evening, lovely Miss Maggie and fellow students. Uh, can you make my favorite sh shrimp tempura next time? All right, so you all, in all honesty, I'm doing this as like a practice run. So if you all like this, we will do this recipe on Wednesday. So it is time. I know a lot of you all have found me from uh, our dear cooking with Aisha. So I'm letting you all know I will schedule it tonight, but I'm going to do another cooking collab with our favorite uh, Southern home cook, uh, Miss Aisha, on Wednesday evening. So we will do this recipe and I'm thinking about doing it with shrimp. So it won't be a shrimp tempura, but uh, oh, I know that sounds incredible. Thank you for being here, Shelby. Hello, Whitney. I uh, hope the family is doing well. All right, everyone, let me get a uniform on. So if you all missed the um, community post yesterday, the Only Pans merch is in the Maggie store. Um, I have ordered a t-shirt, a hoodie, and an apron. So Only Pans merch is available. I'll be happy to model it for you all right now. I'm putting on the regular Maggie apron that you all can find in the Zazzle store. But it's the same apron, but instead of the Maggie logo, it has the OnlyFans logo. Because you won't find me on OnlyFans, however, you will find me on OnlyPans. Hello, everybody coming in. All right. Multiple colors, multiple sizes. You can customize them for free and all that good stuff. All right. I tried to find it as long as I could, but you all insisted on the only pan. So your wish is Maggie's command. Hello, Pat McIntosh. Oh, so good to see you. I was in service yesterday. I don't know if you saw me uh, at 11 o'clock. All right, everyone. Oh, wonderful. Yes, we love the family here. Okay, so anybody on TikTok and IG, I'll try and keep it here so you all can see. Oh, and you all, 
Of course, you get the side by side. All right. So I am a big fan of low carb love. You all have seen me do a lot of the low carb recipes that she has and her daughter. I think it's either Natalie or Natalie. Uh, is also a little uh, mini chef home cooker and she has her own page. Okay, so this is where this recipe comes from. Um, I'll play it twice so you all can see. I'm trying to make sure we are inclusive across all platforms here. Wrap. Start by laying down your saran wrap, your seaweed, and the layer of rice. So my salmon mix. We'll play it twice. Sorry, y'all. Spread it out and then I add in my cucumbers. Lay down your avocado, sprinkle some green onions, I add kimchi and another layer of rice. Wrap it up and then you're done. You're gonna slice it in half and dip it in tamari and you're set. Guys, this is so good, definitely try it. Today I made my mom a spicy salmon sushi wrap. Start by laying down your saran wrap, your seaweed and the layer of rice. For my salmon mixture, I just added some mayo and sriracha. I place it on top of my rice, spread it out, and then I add in my cucumbers. Lay down your avocado, sprinkle some green onions, I add kimchi, and another layer of rice. Wrap it up, and then you're done. You're going to slice it in half and dip it in tamari, and you're set. Guys, this is so good. Definitely try it. So I'm not familiar what tamari is. I'm going to turn the sound down so you all can see over here. And I think I did tag it in the uh, description. Let me turn the brightness down. Um, I'm going to use uh, a few substitutes. That's what makes me your substitute teacher. And I'm not going to use kimchi. I know that's like a fermented cabbage. If you all like it, that's great. I'm not a huge fan. So we are going to do this sans the kimchi. I'm actually going to cook and flake some salmon. I can't tell if her recipe she used, um, canned salmon. So there's lots of options here and we'll talk through all of it. All right. So I'm going to keep this here on, well, let's try over here on uh, repeat so people coming in can see. And uh, let's get our ingredients out. So this one did not have a recipe list. Hello, King says it's amazing. Excited about this sushi roll. Okay. Um, so this recipe did not have a, a list, so I'm going to keep it here on repeat, and y'all know I'm slow, so we're going to go through it one step at a time, and I'm going to show you all the substitutes. So the first thing that she has on the bottom, the seaweed wraps, and I did ask if that was approved for me, so I placed an order from Publix. And so I got this right here, Annie Chung's roasted seaweed sheets. I've never had this before, but this is a very um, common wrapper for uh, Asian cuisine. Um, and I was thinking if you don't like the fishy seaweed, you probably could use the rice wraps. Y'all know we have used those rice wraps before for spring rolls or whatnot, but this is what I'm using. And this came from Publix. So to me, they're pretty big. They're like as big as my hand. And I was worried about that because when you know when you order online, sometimes it's hard to tell the size. The size. Whitney says, I love eating those for a snack. That's good to know. Um, so these are the sheets that we're gonna wrap in, but I also saw some seaweed like snacks. And I guess this is like a, a lower calorie. Yeah, one sheet is only 10 calories. So stuff it with the stuff that you like. And uh, as long as you are not sensitive, uh, and I don't have to worry about sodium, I do have to worry about sugar. All right, so that's the first thing that she has on here. I'm just watching it. And then after she puts the seaweed paper down, notice she uses rice. So on this recipe, and if you all are gonna do the free cooking collab on Wednesday with Aisha, I will list, Miss Aisha, I will list out these ingredients. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and have your rice cooked and ready to go. Uh, I am low carb and uh, gluten-free rice, and then they have gluten. So my substitute, I got this out of the freezer. So we're going to pop this in the microwave. You all have seen me use riced, riced cauliflower before. So this is what I'm going to use for a rice substitute. Okay. So you can, if you eat rice, you can go ahead and rice, rice, baby, go ahead. I can't help it. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, 
If you can have rice, go ahead and have some for me. But this is a frozen vegetable. I took it out. Y'all can see it's already starting to get a little bit damp on me. But I'm going to steam this in the um, in the microwave, okay? Now, this is a plain rice. Uh, you could, I don't know. I've had, I've worked with a chef before who made like sushi rice is like sticky rice so that you could eat it with the chopsticks and it sticks together. I think they put a little bit of sugar in it. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to use this cauliflower rice plain, but that's the substitute that I have. Everybody doing all right? Okay. Hello, Sabrina. Thank you so much for being here. Mona's here. Mona, the moderator. As soon as I get Wednesday set up, Mona will be available to, to help me bring all this stuff in so we can give you all a good experience because clearly I am no professional. What does Erin Laura say? Tamari soy sauce from Wikipedia. So tamari is darker in appearance and richer in flavor than Koikuchi. It contains little or no wheat. Okay, so this is probably like a gluten-free soy sauce. Wheat-free tamari can be used by people with a gluten intolerance. Okay, so yes, yeah, so this is a sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free um, sushi wrap. All right, so y'all know I got to watch it over and over again. Seaweed paper, rice. Okay, so you look at the salmon that she's using. It looks like it came out of the can. If y'all were with me when we did the Marie Marie uh, Chucker recipe, you know you can get salmon in the can. It's not my favorite, but I like to give you all options. So let me show you. I don't see it, but it's in a it's in a can, kind of like bigger than tuna. Um, but let me show you all. I ordered something else. Okay, so you could use canned salmon if you want to. We are going to use fresh salmon. This came from Publix, so I'm going to open this up. This is the bourbon salmon fillet. So this is fresh, not frozen. You all know I love giving you the best. So I'm actually going to cook this in the air fryer and then cook the fillet and then flake it. And then we're going to mix it up and put it in our roll. However, if you don't have fresh salmon, that's fine. Um, an option for you all. I saw this, so I ordered it chicken of the sea. So this is kind of like the canned salmon, but I like the one in the little packs that you can tear open. And um, it says skinless and boneless. This is a big one for me. Excuse me, trying to get those bones out of that canned salmon. Oh, no. So this is an option. I think it was like a dollar or more. I, I can't remember, but this is an option, especially since this is a kid's channel and uh, she's really good. But if you all wanted to do this, introduce the kids to sushi without the uh, raw fish. This is an option for you all. So, and then another thing, if you want smoked salmon, all right? So I just bought three different versions. You all have seen this in the grocery store. Uh, the lox, this is great on a bagel with cream cheese. Uh, oh my goodness. We got a stream sponsor already coming to the front of the class. Y'all know stream sponsors. Thank you so much for the support. Henry Resilient, I appreciate it. Let me move this so everybody can see. Henry sends $5 and he is a content creator, also part of the Lead Attorney Mastermind. Please check him out. He talks about legal things and gaming things and um, pop culture. So um, thank you. He sends $5 and it says, looking at your salmon as I cook air fryer popcorn shrimp. Keep growing. Thank you so much. So I'm going to get, I got a new marker, everyone. I know it's been a little janky the last few days. Um, oh, thank you for the compliment on my voice. I'm tired, but thank you. Um, yes, we'll do this again. If we like it, we'll do this again with shrimp. Or I'd love to know, what do you all think? Um, salmon, shrimp. If you're vegan, you could just do this without the meat or vegetarian. But uh, while I get Henry Resilient on the board, which salmon would you all use? If we do this again, so we have fresh salmon and I got the bourbon glaze. 
I really wanted the brown sugar because I thought brown sugar, I thought that would be good with the Asian flavors. Uh, but let me know, smoked salmon, canned salmon, or fresh salmon, or what other protein? But let me get Henry up on the board. Hello, Gloria. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Got a new marker class. So we got $5. Thank you so much, Henry Resilient. I need to keep these in stock. I'm using the chalk marker. All right, everybody's doing well. What are you all saying in the chat? Henry Resilient would want to do this again with shrimp. Okay, yeah, we can do that, you all. I have some shrimp we can thaw out Wednesday when we do this with Miss Aisha, and we could either chop it up or lay it kind of like in the little half moons the way that she has her um, avocado slice. Miss Shelby says, you can make salmon croquettes with that salmon packet another day. I've tried that before, but it was a canned salmon and I didn't like it. This would probably be a lot better. Thank you for the emojis, Gloria. Um, salmon and cream cheese on a gluten-free English muffin, yes. Or we've done the, um, what was it that we did? The cauliflower crisps or the broccoli crisps or the cheese crisps. Oh, yes, absolutely. Everybody saying hello. It fits with the ocean theme, popcorn shrimp. Yes, you all are loving it. Everybody saying hello. Lauren wants to do this again with the lox. So you want to do this with the smoked salmon? Absolutely. Hello, everybody coming in. <laughs> uh, Henry says, this is boxed popcorn shrimp. We know, Henry, and we know what you're going through. So hey, enjoy your meal. If you're making your own air fryer popcorn shrimp, that is a start. I am not mad at you. That is wonderful. Mallory wants to use the fresh salmon. Absolutely. So we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and put this in the air fryer while we get everything together. Henry says he's eating a poor man's meal. Ladies, we've talked about this. We got a hardworking brother in the chat eating boxed popcorn shrimp. So we got to make sure that we feed the family, make sure that we take care of our hardworking brothers. All right. You don't want Auntie Maggie to get on you. Yes. Thank you for dropping Henry Resilience channel. He is our stream sponsor. Uh, $5 if you want to be the stream sponsor. You are the person who gives the biggest cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook's. Facebooks, what are they called? Facebook stars, PayPals, Instagram gifts, TikTok something. And y'all, I'm now monetized on Twitter. So if anybody's watching us on Twitter, you can tip me on Twitter. Uh, and I think it goes to the Cash App. So um, there's lots of different ways to monetize your channel. You all have been incredibly gracious to me and I appreciate all of it. I didn't find $5 in the laundry today. Just call me Michaela is here. Hello, beautiful. Jurgen has got his plate. He says, get to it, Maggie. We have Miss Strong in the house, another content creator. Sandra's over here, double dipping. And Sabrina says they use Moran sweet sauce to make rice sticky. Moran sweet sauce. What is that similar to? Because I'm going to do it with the cauliflower rice, but I want to make sure y'all know how when we collab with Miss Aisha on Wednesday, she's going to have stuff pulled out of her uh, her sleeve. So I'm practicing on y'all. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this in the air. Well, let's get everything together. All right, so we're going to use the fresh salmon today. I'm going to cut, I'm going to cook it, and I'm going to flake it. So I'm just watching this little this little baby cook. Hello, everybody coming in. Thank you, thank you. Um, all right, so salmon mayo sriracha she's going to mix that up she puts that on cucumber y'all got me buying fresh groceries i want to make sure you have the best experience so a lot of the stuff you may already have, but I did buy a fresh cucumber. We're going to slice this up while our salmon is cooking and we're going to layer it on top. You can put whatever veggies you like. So we got fresh cucumber and then avocado. This time I did ask my grocery shopper to give me, thank you all for the flames and the hearts, everything. I appreciate the engagement. Really, I do. Uh, this time I requested an avocado that I don't have to fight. All right. 
So I asked her to get a soft avocado and I did a grocery order through Publix through Instacart. Y'all know I work from home and during my meeting break, I put these ingredients in the shopping cart, checked out and they brought them here. Shelby says you can also use mirin sweet rice wine to make the sticky rice. I think I do have some rice wine. No, it's rice vinegar. Thank you for that tip though, Shelby. Maybe we'll get that. Hello, everybody coming in. Thank you for being here. All right, so we have an avocado that when I squeeze it, it gives a little bit. So it's not gonna fight me like the last one. So we'll slice our avocado and then green onion. I already had some green onion chopped up. So I'm just gonna grab that from the fridge. Oh. I always want to make it like a real cooking class for you all and get all the good stuff. But, you know, sometimes you have ingredients in the house. So these are looking a little bit sad, but I did have some green onion. So we will put that on. So I think that's everything. This is really, or it could be a no cook meal. We are going to cook the salmon. We're going to use fresh salmon here, but I wouldn't be your substitute teacher if I didn't give you all some substitutes. Okay. Sabrina says Marin sweet sauce, find it in the Asian aisle at the supermarket. It's a clear sauce and very sweet. Can someone please check that Marin sweet sauce and let me know if you can find the nutrition label and just let me know how many grams of sugar. Uh, my metabolic specialist says I'm supposed to stay under six grams of sugar with any of my ingredients. So I try to eat sugar-free, dairy-free and gluten-free. That's why I'm your substitute teacher. So I'm curious, a little bit probably won't hurt, but really the um, that makes sense. If you all have ever had proper sushi, which you know, I am not a proper chef, but the sushi rice is sticky so that it stays together in a roll or in a little, what are these things called? The sushi bites, y'all know, I don't know. So that makes sense that there's like a sugar wine that they put in the rice to help it to stick together probably makes it easier to eat with chopsticks. So since I have cauliflower rice, mine is gonna kind of crumble away like rice. Maybe I can kind of pack it in, but you see how she's making this and um, gonna wrap it tight in film. So today is our practice. That way when we do this again on Wednesday, y'all act surprised, okay? Hello everybody coming in. Shelby says you'll get a nice flavor if you brush the salmon with the soy sauce for that Asian flavor if you're not making that dipping sauce. Excellent. Thank you for that. Akina, she says, hello, Maggie. Mint 86, good to see you back. Hello, good evening. Blue Collar Gent is here for the fixes. We know you like a good chicken wing and I do too. Okay, so you can get regular salmon and season it yourself. I wanted a brown sugar salmon because I wanted that sticky. I thought that would go the sweet would go well with the savory and salty. They did not have the brown sugar salmon, so she substituted it for bourbon salmon. That's why this is kind of like in its own little marinade. So I am going to, oh, it looks yummy. So you all can see, this is our bourbon salmon. I don't know what's on it, but oh, it smells good. Um, and remember you all, when cooking fresh fish, fish, should smell like the ocean. It smells cool and salty oh, with a little bit of like, it's like I can smell like either Worcestershire, y'all know what it is, um, like soy sauce. It's got a nice savory flavor. DT, my first time seeing you here, says, hey, hello and welcome, Wilbur. Yes, we are growing class. I am currently, according to Wilbur, I am at 28,000 500 subscribers on YouTube. I'm just as surprised as y'all. You all know I have a couple videos that have gone viral since my cooking collab. Last month I had 2,000 subscribers. This month I have over 10x, 28,000. So we are approaching 30,000 subs. I will do one last post when we get to 30,000 and then I was told to zip it. Uh, after that we'll just celebrate 50, 75 and 100. All right, so we are growing and I appreciate you all. Uh, Mirin is 13 grams of sugar. That's kind of high. Maybe I can do half of that. Thank you, Shelby. We have a new stream sponsor in the house. You all know him and you love him. TJ from the Rio Bravado Network coming in with $10. No question, no comment. 
just the pure love of the snacks. So thank you so much, Henry Resilient. I hope you enjoy your popcorn shrimp, but we have a new stream sponsor. So let me get Real Bravado up on the board. We are going to cook the shrimp. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of you, Henry. We're gonna cook the salmon and I do need to slice the cucumber and slice the avocado. I am skipping the kimchi and then we should be able to assemble. This will be in the microwave. All right, so everybody sit back, relax, and let me cook for you, okay? And thank you so much, Real Bravado, for the $10. I do not take it for granted. I know all of y'all work really, really hard. You don't even have to be here. So whether it's $1, $5, $10, or $500, I am grateful. I appreciate you. And all of y'all that are here to watch, you are part of making my channel grow. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Real Bravado. Bravo for real bravado. New marker. <laughs> Who dis, right? Chelsea, shout out, shout out to the South. She says, hey, y'all. I'm so proud of you, Maggie, and all you have accomplished. Thank you all. Y'all have been here. Y'all remind me of my uh, flaws and mistakes and outbursts, and you love me anyway. And uh, for any of, anybody that's new here, we have a great community. So if you love to eat, you are welcome here. Oh. Marie uh, Washburn, my first time, Maria Washburn, thank you for being here. My first time seeing you. She says, I was watching you on TT. I don't know what TT is, but y'all, my video is everywhere now, so let me know. <laughs> okay, so let's um, get our salmon ready to cook. We're going to do this in the air fryer. All right, so I have the tray and I'm just going to line this with foil. Hello, everybody coming in. I'm just gonna line this with foil and we're just gonna put it on the fish setting in the air fryer. I think it's like 325. Mom says cook with all of your senses. So we're gonna look at it. We're not just gonna set it and forget it. Once it gets like uh, opaque, which means it's not shiny and kind of clear, glossy, um, we can test it for temperature. I think fish is supposed to be is it 140? Um, Alexa, what is the proper temperature to cook fish? Oh, 180? That seems a bit high. Okay, so I have some aluminum foil sheets that I got. Let me just move this that I got from the Dollar Tree. You all can get the aluminum foil on the roll. These are also convenient because you don't have to have the tearing thing. Um, so these are $1. Love giving you all some, well, now the Dollar Tree is $125, right? Inflation. But this is convenient, especially like, I don't know, if you're camping or do anything like that, I wouldn't know. But um, <laughs> they're already pre-measured and pre-cut sheets that I'm ripping into like a savage. Hello, everybody coming in. Thank you. But yeah, these came from the Dollar Tree. Not the best quality, but they get the job done. I like to line my drip tray with foil just for easy cleanup. And then I'll brush it with a little bit of oil. It looks like they have some oil on that salmon, but just make it easy on myself. Or you can use parchment paper. Parchment paper has been treated with silicone um, so it doesn't stick. All right, so let's get a little bit of oil here. I'm just gonna clean my hands again. I am a frequent hand washer, all right? So my oil pumper is on the fritz. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit and then I'll brush it. Completely optional. All right, so we have just a little bit of oil on there. 
King says, would you go camping, Maggie? Y'all want some story time? To answer your question, no. <laughs> would I go glamping? Yes. But y'all know I'm a boy mom and I have been through it. Oh dear, we got a new stream sponsor. Y'all know her and you love her. Let me get this oil on here with the pastry brush. Shout out to N. Allen Rx, also part of the lead attorney community and mastermind, our community pharmacist, informing us of all the things that go on in the pharmacy. She says, good evening, Maggie and chat. You know I love fish. Well, actually, my dear, I did not know that, but now I do. So again, on Wednesday, you all come back. Y'all come back now, you hear? Uh, come back on Wednesday. We are going to be picking up our cooking with Aisha. And uh, this is my practice because I have to come up with what we're making. So we're going to practice today with a fresh piece of salmon. And then I think we'll do shrimp again on Wednesday when we do this. So thank you so much. Thank you, Real Bravado. Thank you, thank you, Henry Resilia. And Alan Rx is now the stream sponsor at $19.99. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me get you up on our struggle stream whiteboard. You all please check out N. Allen Rx on YouTube. She has a great YouTube channel. She's also part of a podcast. Um, great content informing us of all the shenanigans that happen behind the pharmacy counter. All right. So let's get our salmon for this recipe. You could use any salmon that you want. And thank you, N. Allen. Um, Y'all are saying hey to each other. Uh, yes, I am doing cooked sushi. Yes, ma'am, I am. Oh, I have a camping story for you. Blue collar. Yes, ma'am, I am. Y'all, have I ever eaten the raw sushi? Yes, it's creamy and good. I got a mental block. I don't, I'm just not. So for those of you sushi snobs, I know this is fake. Don't judge me. I'm not the food police, all right? So we have this beautiful piece of Publix Fresh Bourbon Salmon. Shout out to N. Allen. I know you're not in Louisiana, but um, close enough, right? Mississippi. So we got a beautiful piece. If you all would cook this, find a frying pan emoji. If you all would do this raw in the uh, wrap, find the fish emoji or just write cook and raw. Y'all, we're old or I'm old, all right? So we're going to put this directly on our sheet pan here and i'm just going to put this in the air fryer and let it fake flake a uh, beautiful like salmon should be all right ah so blue collar gent want to know about maggie camping all right so i'm pressing the fish button oh <laughs> 325, so we'll keep an eye on it. So y'all know I'm a boy mom and my husband was almost an Eagle Scout, something like that. I was a Scout mom for a lot of years. So believe me y'all, I have done my time. They are in high school now, um, but you all know that camping is part of the Boy Scout experience. I think that's great. You should know how to survive if there's an apocalypse. I just need to be with you. I'm not trying to light any fires. I'm not trying to carry any logs. I'm not trying to break any sticks, rub anything together, have a toolkit, hike through the mountains. I'm not doing that. Y'all already know, I told you, I have no muscles. I'm like memory foam, I'm soft, okay? Memory foam Maggie. So, you know, we get suckered into these things as parents and the boys have to go camping. Oh, they are so excited and their dad's excited. And I'm looking like, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I will drive the boys there to the campsite. All the other parents are looking like they're dreading what's about to happen. They have their tents, they're pitching, they're lighting fires, they're doing all this stuff in the woods, catching river fish. I'm looking like, 
I'll see y'all in the morning. We have driven all the way to Burt Adams Scout like a reservation. I got an Airbnb. I am not homeless. I go to work every day so that I have proper shelter. I went to the Airbnb, left the boys in the woods with the Scout Master and all them other people. In the morning, woke up rested, put on a beautiful flower dress, some sandals, was freshly washed, and went to the Scout Reservation. Everybody woke up looking crazy, looking like, y'all know what you look like when you sleep outside. I'm there. Good morning. But before you judge me, I cooked for everybody. I made bacon. I made pancakes. I made scrambled eggs. I did everything in the comfort of my well-rested uh, mom self. All the other people were looking at me like, she didn't sleep outside. And I'm like, no, I sure didn't sleep outside. So to answer your question, King, no, I'm not going camping. Absolutely not. Why would I do that? Hope you all enjoyed that story time. So judge me if you want to, okay? Yes, I'm doing cooked sushi. <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, y'all are laughing at me. Real Bravado says, if you go, oh, Real Bravado, you're streaming tonight. Yes, let us know what time you're streaming and what you're talking about. You as well, and, and Alan, let us know what you got coming up next. Sabrina says, it's Miss Kin Mirin Sweet Sauce at Walmart. Okay, I'll place another grocery order. Maybe when we do the collab on Wednesday with Miss Aisha, I want my cauliflower rice to really be sticky. So thank you. So if it falls apart, you already know. Chelsea says, I've, al I've always been intimidated to try sushi because I wanted the fish cooked. Absolutely. Have it your way, Burger King. I am not a professional, but I believe sushi is this, like the assembly of the food. I don't think it has to be raw for it to be sushi. You can have vegetarian sushi, cooked sushi. I think the raw fish is called sashimi. Y'all know I don't know. Mm -mm. Look, I am too old. I'm not, mm -mm. I cook that fish. <sighs> Kia says, hello, Maggie in class. I hope you all are well. I'm doing great. I think I will get a beverage, y'all. I'm feeling a little slow. Oh, and Alan's watching at work. Yes, multitask, my dear, our community pharmacist. Blue Collar Gent wants me to cook it. Absolutely. Yes, sir. It is in the air fryer. And Alan says, I don't like the raw. I'm originally from Louisiana. Oh, okay. So we got your bourbon sa uh, salmon. Yes, absolutely. Yes, I'm going in the trash. I'll wash my hands. I ordered the brown sugar, but just so you all know, this is the Publix bourbon salmon. So shout out to Louisiana. All right. <laughs> Let me clean my hands again. And if you don't have Publix or you don't have one already seasoned, just do the usual salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. That five pretty much goes on anything or any seasoning of your choice. You know, whatever you like on your fish. It's your it's your sushi roll. Uh, Rayana likes a baked salmon sushi. Okay, so you want it cooked. Absolutely. Chelsea wants it cooked. Chelsea says, cook it. And Alan says, cook it. Whitney says, cook it. And shrimp, you would try the both. You would try it raw. Okay. I've had it. It's not bad, you all. They say that, um, you know, really good quality, you know, meat, there's nothing wrong with it. People have been eating that way for years. For me, it's just a mental block. I know, and I'm old. Okay, I've been told to say I'm not old. I'm an older woman. I just don't feel like I need to do anything at all. <laughs> Have it your way, Burger King. Blue Collar Gent says, I'd only eat sushi grade raw. Yeah, so this came from Publix. I don't know if it's sushi grade. Probably not. Um, Y'all are saying hello. King is laughing at me. Ah, Whitney loves raw sushi. All right, y'all, we got something for everybody. Um, Collar Gent says, what, um, Chelsea is asking, what is sushi raw grade? I think it's a quality of the fish. If someone can give us the technical, ex technical explanation, that would be great. Um, but to me, it's kind of like there's beef and then there's like Kobe beef, you know, like really, really premium quality. So if somebody knows, and Alan said bug repellent had me head to toe. I'm here for the outfit. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm wearing flowers. I put on a sundress. Those other moms were looking at me like, you're a boy mom too. I'm like, you're doggone right. 
Y'all ain't so happy out here, homeless. Chelsea is laughing. Mm-hmm. Whitney is laughing. Maggie said, I am not homeless. No, I go to work every day. No. Uh-uh. I am not homeless. Sleeping out here in the woods. Why? Because these two kids who don't pay no bills want me to pitch a tent? You got the wrong one. I do a lot of things well. There is just some things I am not built for. DT says, I don't blame you. Yes, y'all can laugh at me all you want to. Those boys will be all right. Y'all seen them? Camping isn't so bad. Okay, Whitney, you got two boys? Please light a fire for me, sweetheart. I'm not doing it. And Alan says the floor pattern was enough. y'all want to talk i always forget yeah mm -mm, i'm here here for the flowers exactly we're not doing that we are not doing that mm -mm, nope from the comfort of my airbnb i sure did dt is laughing king says i'm not mad mama mm -hmm. aaron says i eat a lot of sashimi which is the raw fish i'm one of those snobs who has a proper fillet knife and i prepare it raw at home when i get when i get good quality fish well this is not that. This is Maggie's Struggle Kitchen Studios, and we are going to make Sam in my way cook. <laughs> but no, I have had it. You know, like I said, y'all, I'll try anything. It's just the texture. It's kind of creamy. I just like what I like. Gina Bina said, Maggie said, I am not about that. Like, y'all ain't ever got to worry about me. One thing, I am consistent. If I like something, you will know. If I don't like something, you will know. Shelby says, I love the story time. I work smarter and not harder. Ah, uh, just because I pushed out two big head boys don't mean I'm supposed to suffer. You get up in that tent. Nope. <laughs> Mallory says, I don't get camping. Why would you go to the woods where the bugs and the pets are to sleep on the hard ground for the night when you have a comfy bed at home? Exactly. They signed up for this camping experience. I didn't sign up for that. I don't need no badges. I don't need no patches. I don't need to do a bow and arrow. I don't need to learn none of that stuff. If it, if the apocalypse happens, I'm calling AAA. That's all I got. That's all I got. Y'all are laughing at me. Blue Collar Jen says, we going on a man's camping trip with our sons. No women, just us fellas. And you know who was there with them boys? Their father looking just as crazy as everybody else the next morning. Hey, how's everybody doing? I sure did. I walked in there. Y'all were hey, good morning. How's everybody doing? Y'all ready for breakfast? They looked at me crazy. I don't care. I'm old. I'm not doing it. Nope. 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 You got the wrong one. Mm -mm. They had supervision. Their dad was with them. It just wasn't going to be me. Family camping. Ha! They'll be all right. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. Shout out to the Walmart water. You know who you are. We have our clear American sugar-free, calorie-free, caffeine-free, sparkling water. Always drinking out of the glass. Be elegant. How can I be elegant in the bush? I'm not built for the bushes. They talked about me. They snickered about me. When them pancakes and bacon and scrambled eggs was ready, they sure did come around. Yeah. I made my contribution. Y'all got the wrong one. Carry on. I guess it's a man thing. Yes, sir, it is. Mallory says they have sushi that is cooked. Sabrina says, correct, it does not have to be raw. There is a variety. How about that? Aaron Laura says, yes, Maggie, sashimi just refers to raw fish. Sushi refers to the style of rice and by extension, the rolls, regardless of the other ingredients. So you could actually make this a roll, y'all. We're going to do it like a little hand roll like this. This is what I'm going for. But you can roll it up and slice it. I'm not doing all that. Mm -mm. This is enough. Let's check on our fish. It's sizzling, but not done yet. Carry on. All right. Yes. Now you know what to ask for. See, we're learning. The quiet storm. Of course you love camping. See, this is where, well, first of all, hello, sir, and good evening. Thank you for all you do to keep this 
a place where we women and gents can talk about the finer things in life, <laughs> not the bush. But he says, I love camping. And you know what? I love it that you love. You like it, I love it. How about that? Camp some for me. Y'all will find Maggie in the cabins. I will do cabins. I have done cabins. Y'all got the wrong one. Y'all got the wrong one. <laughs> Which one is the cooked fish? Whitney says, if you have everything you need, you think camping is fun. Can't relate. All right, tent and all. And Alan says, to be honest, I don't like raw or cooked sushi. So you don't like the roll or the seaweed. So it's the seaweed paper you don't like. It has a fishy taste. You're not really into the aftertaste. Okay, so we're going to try it today and see how we like it. Thank you for it. I've never made this before, y'all. Has that ever stopped me? No? This is where I get to experiment. I do it with y'all. I can't cook this stuff for the kids. They'll be like, can you make spaghetti? Tasha's not going camping either. See, I'm just saying what y'all are thinking, but everybody looks at me crazy. They will be all right. Sashimi, great fish, just means it's safe to eat raw. Warm water wild fish isn't great since parasites. See, why you got to start with the parasites? See, we were doing so well and still we started talking about the parasites. We're going to check the temperature of that fish. Mm-mm. I'm not here for the parasites. Parasites are more prevalent in the warm water fish. Raw safe is either farmed or wild from very cold northern waters, but that is good to know. Aaron Lars says, I respect it, Maggie. It took me ages to come around. Y'all can check with me in 20, 20, never. Triple A, that's right. <laughs> Triple A line is disconnected. I bet they got an app. I bet it works in the woods. <sighs> y'all, I see something in my future that I'm not really looking forward to, but I think you all would like it. Like where I go on these adventures and I'm requested to try all kinds of different things. One of these days, me and Aisha are going to collab in person. I'm worried. I'm not old, I'm seasoned. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Sabrina is with me. Team Maggie. Shout out to the Walmart water. Y'all already know. Mm -mm. Exactly. How am I supposed to be elegant in the bush? They don't go together. Mm -mm. Exactly. Hello, everybody coming in. DT says, gotta go. I'm glad I caught this live chat. I can't wait to the next one. Yeah, I'm here every day, y'all. I stream every day. It's usually cooking, but hey, go with it. At this point, it could be cooking, it could be relationships, it could be um, femininity stuff, but everybody is welcome at every stream, all right? Shout out to the Walter. Oh, Walter is the Walmart water? I love it. Wally water? Absolutely. You like my monologue? Look, y'all ask. Good evening, Rodney. How are you? Whitney says, don't do me like that, Maggie. I used to go camping all the time. That's a you thing. Oh, you went there camping with your grandparents. Can't relate. Y'all are laughing. Mallory says, the only man thing I like is do is fishing. I can't even do that. I got a story for that too, but not tonight. Oh, y'all like to fish? I should try camping in a yurt. It's like a teepee with AC now. I can do some AC. Climate control? Absolutely. Oh, not a big fan of man activities. All right. Mallory says, I think sitting on a creek bank, listening to the water, waiting for a fish to bite is relaxing. That sounds really nice. All right, everyone. So now we got our fish cooking. Let me take one more look at the salmon. Oh, it's about to cut off. All right. So I gave you all some options, canned salmon or smoked salmon. All right. So keep that in mind. And Shelby said we could use this for our uh, salmon croquettes if you want to try this without the bones and without the draining. All right, so I'm going to throw this uh, cauliflower rice in the microwave. I don't have the sugar water, the Markin one. If someone could inbox me the name of that brand because I won't see it when the chat is done or text me or something so I know what sugar wine to get, sugar water, rice, y'all know what it is. So this is frozen cauliflower rice. So this is how I'm staying low carb. I'm going to put this in the microwave, just a steam bag. And you can season it like rice if you want to. Five minutes in the microwave. Hello, everybody coming in. Right. 
got me thinking about parasites. Let's take a temperature check of our fish, okay? So I've got my thermometer here. One is on the cheat sheet if you all need one. And we've got it on Fahrenheit. I have to make sure it's not on Celsius, all right? Let's get our fish out. Beautiful. So we have our beautiful bourbon salmon. Let's give it a temperature check. I think 165 is fine, or is that? I think we're good, y'all. I'm looking at the edge of it. All right, so our salmon is good. I'm gonna let it cool. We're gonna flake it. I do wanna taste it though. For research purposes, y'all know how we do. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so you should be able to flake fish pretty easily if it's cooked well. I'm just looking at the, it looks beautiful. Rihanna says, is the bag salmon imitation or real? Oh, this bag salmon? This is real salmon. It's just, um, yeah, ingredients, pink salmon, water and vegetable broth. So this is real fish. It's not imitation fish. So it's like salmon in the can. So let's take a look here. Oh, y'all, it's flaking beautifully. Just let me have this moment. I know, y'all. We're going to uh, let it um, flake. And uh, I'm actually going to let it sit and cool a little bit. And if salmon just breaks apart easily like this or any fish fillet, it's good. All right. And I want this burnt piece on the end. Y'all know. We're going to taste this bourbon salmon. Shout out, Louisiana. I don't even know what it's supposed to taste like, but I bet it's good. Get on my fork. Doggone it. All right. Oh, it's so good. It's the simple things. Hmm. Looks amazing. Mm-hmm. Sorry, y'all. Hey, Brandon. Hello, everybody. Sorry about my outburst. Not really. All right. So we're just going to flake this into kind of small pieces. Uh-oh. I really wanted to eat that. But y'all would talk about me. All right. So we're just going to let this kind of cool down. Not that it has to. But our salmon is looking good. Hashtag burnt edges. Yep. Looking good. Thank you. All right. So let's put this behind me. Oh, you know what I'm going to put on it? Y'all, we have a gift from someone in the class. You know who you are. My apron collection. We have our melting dome, but I'm going to put this on top of the salmon and put it behind me because I was running my mouth. I should have my avocado and um, cucumber ready, but I don't. So our salmon is warm. We'll see if we can keep it a little bit warm. All right. That is a melting dome that uh, was a gift from someone, one of our scholars. And that's a great way, ladies, when you're cooking for your man, if he's running late, you can make his plate and then put that melting dome on top. So his plate stays a little bit warm or you can put it in the oven, okay? <laughs> Y'all know how I am. Okay, so we gotta cut, all we gotta do is slice uh, cucumber and avocado. So that's all we have to prep. Gina's laughing. Y'all new folks haven't seen my outburst, right? All right, dance party. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so this we're gonna peel. This I'm going to wash. Let me get the cutting board. Thank you, Victoria. All right, and so this time, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to use the flat side of the cutting board because if you notice in the video, she put some clear wrap down and I don't want the grooves. Get into the groove. Boy, you got to prove your love to me. 
yeah. I get excited when it's time to eat. I get excited when it's time to eat. I get excited when it's time to eat. Uh huh, uh huh. I get excited when it's time to eat. Y'all keep telling me to stop, and I can't stop. <sighs> okay, sorry, I had to get that out. So, <laughs> Mike says, Sushi, welcome. Let me wash the cucumber. Class, let's wash our vegetables. Who does that? All right, so how much, so our microwave is done, so our cauliflower rice is done. I'm gonna let that stay in there and steam. I think she only did like four slices of cucumber. You can cut up the whole thing, but y'all been waiting on me enough. One, two, three, four. Valerie <laughs> said, you love the random outburst. Like, look. I'm happy. If you don't like it, show me some. I love the dancing and singing. I'm doing it with you, tone deaf and all. Exactly. Just put the salmon down, put the knife down, and bust the move. <laughs> I'll start up again. Mike Robert says, incoming Maggie TikTok dance challenge, y'all. I got a spirit animal. I'm telling you, there's a woman on TikTok that, oh, if you want me to show you, I will. She knows my outburst love language. Erin Lawrence says, never stop. Can't stop, won't stop. All right, so this knife holder has a sharpener. So we just need four pieces, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut those by hand, really thin if I can get them. And I'm actually gonna just wrap it up. All right. Just gonna wrap that up and save this. Maybe we'll use this again uh, for Aisha if you want. This is a great snack, the cucumber. Um, actually, I'm not supposed to have cucumber, but it'll be all right, just a little bit for today. Um, put it in a salad, uh, scoop it out and use it as a vehicle for tuna salad, all kinds of stuff. All right, so we have this. <laughs> King says, this is a fun stream. I love it here. I'm so glad y'all are here. Honestly, when I started my channel, I didn't think anybody would care. But y'all keep coming back. I told you what it is. You know what happens here. So, all right, let me get a Ziploc bag to put this in. And then we're going to cut up our avocado, okay? In all seriousness, you all, I am well aware of all that happens in the world and all that happens in YouTube. But over here, happy, wholesome, family friendly, all are welcome. All right, so we got our cucumber cut up. All right, now let's go in for the avocado. So I did get a ripe one. So I'm just gonna go down to the, I was gonna say to the ball, the seed. Y'all know what I mean. Uh, it just presses in so nicely. See how I'm able to go around without having to apply a lot of pressure. So it's nice and ripe. Beautiful avocado. All right. So to store your avocado, we've talked about this before. Uh, let's see if I have one. You can put it in. I don't have a small. Actually, yeah, I do. Okay, so a great way to store avocado, I'll get fresh stuff off of Wednesday. Um, what you can do is get a bowl of water, just regular tap water. And then you go, I'm gonna use this side without the seed. You take the, um, let me take the sticker off so it's not in the water. You're gonna put this in the water flesh side down and just seal it up in the fridge so it'll stay green and not go brown, okay? So as long as it keeps the um, air out from the avocado, then when you're ready, you just take it out and it's, um, it's nice and fresh, okay? So let's put our veggies away. I'm glad y'all are having fun. Thank you for being here. I love cooking for y'all. Right. Right. 
So there's your avocado hat. So we're gonna go in here. So she just has a half of an avocado sliced long ways. All right, so I am going to cut a little bit of the edge. So I have a little start to peel. Mike's is so much fun. I'm glad y'all like it here. So I'm just gonna kind of peel it back off of the um, avocado. Hello, everybody coming in. Ooh, Shelby says she cuts her cucumber with a little vinegar, salt, pepper, and garlic. It's delicious. Like a little snack, huh? That sounds good. Y'all remember that other avocado I get I was struggling with because it was so daggone, um, how do you say, unripe? What's the, what's the opposite of ripe? I want to say raw, but all of it's raw. Hard? I don't know, y'all. All right. So we have our beautiful half of an avocado. We're going to put this flat side down. Let's get rid of our trash. So almost all of our trash. This little piece, greedy. We're not wasting groceries. Mm. Creamy. <laughs> Sorry. All right, clean hands. Let me slice the avocado. Oh, you never thought to, um, Michaela says, I never thought to keep the end of the cucumber to keep it fresh. Yeah, I cut everything down to the nub, you know, why waste? So I, I kept the whole thing. Plus, if y'all saw how I put it back together, you know, so that there's not as much air getting around it. Hello, everybody coming in. All right, so her um, avocado slices look like they were cut long ways, right? Yeah, all right. So we're just going to go straight down. Oh, so creamy, so let me try and... So I'm cut and I'm just going to kind of, oh, it's so, let's see if I can do it. It's moving. All right, so we have our avocado cut nice. Oh, it's green. <laughs> what did I say, unraw? <sighs> anyway, for anybody new here, I am not a professional, okay? I figured this out with y'all. So we have it cut nice, and if you just apply a little bit of gentle <laughs> pressure, kinda, it'll kinda, <laughs> you see what I'm trying to do? So you could serve it like this. It'll just kind of collapse into itself. You could put this on avocado toast. We're going to put it in our wrap, but that's our half, uh, half an avocado. Okay. Beautifully done. All right. Ah, oh, King says, I learned something new. I'll be back for sure. Oh, about how to store your uh, avocado. Absolutely. All right. So we have some green onion. I am going to move this to the edge because I think we're ready to assemble y'all. Our fish is under the dome. All right, so let's assemble. All right, so I need to get a bowl because we're gonna mix this up. So let's get our fish in a bowl. And this could be another family night meal. You could have the sushi sheets out, the rice. Uh, protein if people aren't vegetarian, you know, have the little topping. She's doing kimchi, you know, have all your little, I got some green onion here, have everything out and let the kiddos make their own sushi wraps. Welcome to science class. Absolutely. Yes, it's a nice looking avocado. Cool hack. Absolutely. Absolutely. Shelby says lime juice on an avocado and then place it in an airtight container can preserve it as well. Great to know. Absolutely. All right, so let's put our salmon in here. She's doing mayo and sriracha, and she's mixing it up, okay? All right, so this is still nice and warm. We had the dome on here, got all that nice steam. Now let's put it in the sink. Mm. 
No, I want to jump in here. And rock. All right, focus, Maggie. So let's put our beautiful salmon. And this could be the Cajun salmon. It could be the brown sugar salmon. It could be regular salmon. This is what I got from Publix. So we got this bourbon salmon. I'm going to toss the foil for easy cleanup and run this through the dishwasher later. Again, this recipe didn't give us any ingredient, I mean, any uh, portions, right? So we have our beautiful salmon here. All right. So mayo and sriracha. So I have sriracha. I'm going to get um, real mayo out of the kids' fridge. The mayo that I have, the low calorie mayo that I have, I'll show it to you all. Um, it's kind of like a miracle whip, so it's got that tang into it. I don't want that to mix up with my uh, Asian flavors. So let me get regular mayo for this. I'll be right back. So let me give you all a substitute. Uh, you could use Dukes if you want to. This is what I got out of the kid's fridge, just regular Hellman's mayonnaise. This is what I usually use, the calorie-free Amazing Mayo, but it's got that sweet and tangy, and so I don't want the, that to mess up, all right? So how much? I don't know. Um, let's just put in about that much mayo. All right, we're gonna mix it all together just like she's doing. I think she's, just, she's using the canned salmon. And then we have sriracha, which is our spicy um, Asian uh, condiment. So we're gonna put this in here. Oh, did I break it? About that much. And we're just gonna mix it up and I'll taste it. Y'all, I don't know. This is why I, look, I like cooking. Get in there and mix it up. Am I doing it right? She's over there dancing. Sorry, y'all. I should use a spatula. I hate that clanging noise. Mayo and sriracha, yeah. And I'm just kind of breaking up the salmon pieces. I feel bad about that beautiful filet. All right. And we'll give it a taste. But I think it looks good. All right. So we have our... Creamy salmon. Let's taste. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Uh huh. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> okay, sorry. I don't know why my children are embarrassed by me. Mmm. Y'all. You can do this with the canned salmon, no shade, but if you can get a fresh filet and cook it, it's so good. All right, so now let's check on our cauliflower rice. Rice, rice, baby, it's done. I know, I know, I know, I know. You're not supposed to do that anymore. Maggie, you're big time. Maggie, you can't be acting like that. Okay, so we have our cauliflower rice. This is just our steamed rice. It's not anything fancy. It's just plain. I'm going to just do it and hopefully the flavor, that salmon has so much flavor. Is that okay, Tata from Japan? Yes. Okay, now I'm nervous, y'all. And I just had another outburst. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Hello, okay, Tata. Yes, measure your ingredients with love. Yes, so I'm trying to make a low carb version of this sushi roll. So I am using cauliflower rice, okay? So it's not the sticky rice, but we're gonna give it a try. All right, so this was just steamed in the microwave. All right, so let's focus. King says, have fun while you cook. Nothing is a crime, exactly. All right, y'all, we got everything. We're ready to assemble now. If you notice, she puts plastic wrap on her um, 
cutting board. So I'm going to get some plastic wrap. And that's the reason why I'm using this, um, what's it called? The smooth side and not the groove side. Exactly. Measure with your heart. All right. All right. So we have our struggle clean wrap. All right. Now I'm nervous. We have our Japan uh, contingent in the class. All right, so I'm going to one of these days I'll make it to that part of the world. I've only been to Australia, but I, I know that's not Asia, but that's the farthest I've been. All right, so we have this plastic wrap and then she's going to get her sheets. You're excited? Oh, Chelsea says I make cooking fun. Like um, Fleetwood Mac, you, you make cooking fun. I know that's not how it goes, but y'all know the song. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited too. All right. So we've got our plastic wrap and then the sushi paper. Okay. I know it's not called sushi paper. Y'all never made this before. So let's open this up. It does smell fishy. I don't mind, but like in Allen, if you don't like a fishy smell, if you don't like foods that you can smell before you taste them, consider the rice wrappers. I'm gonna cut this with the scissors so I can pull out a sheet because I'm worried if I tear it, maybe I'll tear the paper and I think it's delicate, all right? All right, so let's go in here. I'm trying to, I don't know how far up at the top it goes, but. Always have a good pair of kitchen shears. You can do a lot with them. Hello, everybody coming in. All right. <laughs> King says, I haven't stopped smiling since launching Maggie. Well, I'm glad I make y'all smile. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's inspect, is this one sheet or two? This is two. I guess that's okay. Y'all, you can almost see through it. Not really, but okay. So we have, okay, she made a big one. She put one sheet of paper down and then she put the rice. Rice, rice, baby, let's go. Okay, whoa, watch the sleeves. All right, so we have our sushi paper and let's get some rice. Now she's using the sticky rice. I got cauliflower rice. All right, y'all know I'm slow. I gotta focus. How do we do this? I'm a first timer. <laughs> you believe in me? Yes, it'll taste good. So she put, see how these reels go? They don't show you like, slow down. All right. She just put it in the middle. All right, and again, y'all, this looks like rice, but it's cauliflower. So this is my low carb rice, hopefully, the fact that it's hot doesn't mess up my sushi. It's probably supposed to be room temperature, right? So I'm just gonna put, and this is plain. I guess you could season it with like, I don't know, salt and pepper. Okay, so let's just smooth this out. All right. Um, then she put the salmon and we made our own salmon. This is really good on its own, y'all. So I'm going to scoop some of that in here. All right. Okay. She just put, yeah. We'll make two of them in case the first one I'm not good at. So we'll put half of our filet of salmon. And my salmon chunks are kind of big. I guess that's okay. And then I'm going to kind of smooth it down. All right, y'all see what we have so far, our salmon and our cauliflower rice. All right, and then I think next she did the cucumber. So we have, oh, I need to cut more cucumber, shucks. All right, I will. Cucumber. And then she did the avocado. So we'll do half of the avocado. I 
I'm just going to, y'all see how I have it kind of laying on top of each other. I'm going to separate them so I can make it nice and flat. I just got to get in there and kind of separate them with my fingers. Okay. And then she put some green onion. Y'all, I'm a professional after this one time in a row. All right. And then the green onion. Mine are looking a little sad, but we'll, we'll be all right. I'll buy a fresh one for Wednesday with Aisha. I think that's everything. All right. And then she put another piece on top, rice, salmon. Cucumber, avocado, green onion. I'm skipping the kimchi. Oh, and more rice. I guess that makes sense. Like as a glue. I'm just pressing it down. It's nice and warm in my hands. Um, I don't know what to do next, y'all. What about salt or soy sauce? I'm going to do, I'm going to dip it in soy sauce. Yes. I'll make this first one just like hers. Okay. Then she folds it up. Like, oh God, how do you fold it up? I guess you just, let me just watch the fold y'all. Flat. I think I could just fold it into triangles, I guess. I guess you just fold it any way that you want. So I'm going to fold it like a crunch wrap. Kind of like an envelope. Then we'll go over it with the film. Oh, All right. So we have our hot pocket. She cut the nori into pieces. <laughs> Today's sushi, tomorrow Bobby Flay. Y'all have a lot of faith in me. Okay. I want to go ahead and make the second one, y'all, because if this is good, or should I go ahead and cut it? All right. <gasps> so stressed. All right, let's get... This was our practice one, because I'm like, do I take pictures of this one? So she folded it up on itself, then we're gonna cut it in half and I'll do that. Okay, so we're gonna cut it in half and then she put the gluten-free soy sauce, right? Okay, so we have our gluten-free kikoman or whatever sauce that you like. So that's what we're going for. I'm nervous. Okay. Okay, so I just came home. I'm making you hungry. Cut it and try it. If I don't like it, repurpose the fish or add a little salt. Taste this one while making the other. All right, y'all. So let's cut it. I think we got it down. I'm going to try with our knife. I'm going to cut into a triangle. Hers looks a little bit fuller than mine. All right. Well, let's, do you just peel back the plastic? I'm so confused. I guess I need to cut all the way through. All right. I'm struggling with the plastic. Let me just kind of no. Ah, we're going to do this again. And we'll take pictures before we take the plastic off. So this is for the taste, okay? I probably should have used a serrated knife. And peel the plastic back. Stick this back in here. Oh, God. What a mess.
Honestly, I'm struggling with the plastic. The flavor is really good. I was just taking a minute to really chew to make sure I didn't I didn't eat any plastic. That's the only thing I don't like. Maybe parchment paper. We'll do the next one in parchment paper. But the flavor is really good. I just didn't want to like eat really fast. And then I'm like eating a bunch of Let me get a spoon. It's kind of messy. We'll try one more and then we'll make another one. Mm. The creaminess of the avocado, the saltiness of the fish paper, the cauliflower rice is perfect. There's a lot, the, ooh, the sriracha. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all, this is good, but we're going to make another one. Just, uh, I'll get a fresh cutting board and we'll make one for the photo. One more bite. Here's my only issue. The flavor is excellent. But y'all know me in my mind. This seaweed paper has the same kind of consistency as the plastic wrap. So as I'm chewing down, I'm like making sure, is this plastic or is this seaweed? And it takes a moment for it to kind of like dissolve down to confirm that I'm eating seaweed and not plastic, but it's good. Mm. 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 All right. That was excellent. We're going to do it again. I just don't like the plastic. It's good. Let me dance. You dancing for me? Yes. Let me wash my hands, y'all. That is good. I'm not even going to lie. It's really good. I think I destroyed it because of the knife cutting. I'm going to try parchment paper. Y'all, the flavor is excellent. Hello, everybody coming in. Hello, hello. Caught me in mid-chew. Whitney's still here listening and laughing. It looks good. Yeah, we're not wasting it. Kitchen shears. Oh, kitchen shears to cut the plastic. Y'all. Yes, it tastes good, Tata. It did. I can remove the plastic after a few minutes. The rice is supposed to make the nori wet and it's supposed to stick together so it won't fall apart. Um. All right, so y'all like this seaweed. Can I seal the seaweed and omit the plastic? I don't know. Let's get a clean cutting board. I'm just going to cut four more cucumbers and that one will be our picture, y'all. That ain't going to go to waste, though. These sheets are 10 calories each, 10. 10. Mm. All right. It's so salty and savory, like I like it. I really, really like it. Let me get my cucumber back out. Oh, our knife is here. We'll do a clean one. And then we'll plate it and then we'll be done. But yeah, this is really, really good, y'all. I don't mind the flavor. It's just that that texture of, y'all know how I am. Texture is my number one. It kind of pulls. When you bite down, it kind of bites back. And then after a while in your mouth, it melts down and like, okay, that's not plastic. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. Flavor, excellent. All right, now I'm a pro. Watch me work. Uh-oh. Internet error. Okay. All right, TikTok. So four cucumber slices. Well, we could do more than four. I'm doing a little too thin. All right, so we got our cucumber. 
<laughs> Thank you, Lisa's here to support. Not a fan of the salmon. Sabrina says it looks good. Mallory says fold it and flip it over to where the seam side is down. Okay, we'll give that a try. Let's try this again, y'all. So, I don't even think I need the parchment paper. What do y'all think? Because I want a really nice picture. Because once I start loading it up, I'm going to try the parchment paper, see if that's any better than the film. Like old wax paper sandwich. Okay. We got the seaweed paper, um, rice, rice, baby, cauliflower rice for me. If you can have regular rice, have some, but honestly, y'all in this low carb version, you don't miss the rice. And I want it kind of full because I'm greedy. Hello, everyone. So let's put another scoop. Cauliflower rice is only 20 calories. So. All right, I'm going to try and make it flat. You want to make it flat so that when we cut into it, we get that nice cross section. And I'm going to kind of move it towards the edges, except for where I fold. You don't want like a mountain of rice there. All right, so we've got our rice, 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 baby. And then the rest of our salmon. If you don't like salmon, this could be shrimp. Maybe we'll do this Wednesday. We're going to do this again with Miss Aisha, y'all. So we'll do shrimp. Um, I don't know. It could be scallops, imitation crab, whatever you like. Mom is in my ear. Clean as you go, Maggie. Clean as you go. All right, so we're going to spread this out on top of the rice, kind of as flat as we can get it. Mm. Yummy. Cucumber. Woo! A sriracha. Mm. All right. This could be whatever vegetable you like. I'm good with the cucumber. And then the avocado. I'm going to flatten them so they're not like lumped on top of each other. Woo, that sriracha's coming back, y'all. Yikes. I like it though. <laughs> mm. Hurts so good. It's good. Got me cle clearing me out, y'all. Okay. And we got our avocado in here. Hello, everybody. Ah, Chef Meech says, have an even bed of rice and roll tightly. I'm doing a hand roll. I guess I could roll it. I'm not, I'm not there yet, though. But one day we'll roll it. Sabrina says, looks good. Okay, Tatcha says, when I make rice balls, you wrap it with plastic, but you always remove the plastic before you cut it and eat. You wish you were there to give me a hand? I'm coming to Japan, my dear. Oh, when she used the second sheet, it was cut into pieces to exactly fit on the filling. You're right. Look at Aaron Laura. See how I messed stuff up, y'all? Okay. So let's get the second sheet. And instead of doing it like a sandwich, I'll use my kitchen shears. So we're going to make a small piece just to go over that. Aaron, see, I love the eyes y'all have. Oh, green onion. Skip the kimchi for me, no kimchi for me. Ah, yep, you were right. So she just put, <clears throat> all right. So now I'm gonna cut the corners. Still a little big. Uh, I see what you're saying. All right. Mm. 
Okay. So it's less to fold. I'm making it like an envelope, y'all. That's the only thing, like, I probably should have used plastic wrap, but it's okay, y'all. I got to teach this with Aisha on Wednesday, so we got to, all right. So. All right. I'm going to get a serrated knife. I don't know if that makes a difference. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. All the way through. All right. So I'm going to carefully, my knives aren't cutting all the way through. All right. So to plate, let's move this, get our picture ready so we can be done. Let's get dark food goes on a white plate so that it pops air and you got it. Thank you. So I don't have all that extra overhang. Gently pull it out. Kind of doing it like a sandwich, y'all. All right. And then we're going to just do our little soy sauce. Get a fresh one. Always serve your guests the best. Always serve your man the best. I'm going to eat the janky one. Oh, I could have put some sesame seeds in there. We'll do that next time. Gluten-free soy sauce. I want the cross section to show, so I'm going to move it and then put the soy sauce back here. coming apart. I, I should have left, left it flat. All right. I got it. Kind of. <laughs> This is a good practice, y'all, because on Wednesday, we're going to have Aisha, Miss Aisha, and all her people. Yeah, I don't want to move it, but I'm moving it. Let's get the picture done, y'all. I think y'all would eat that. Y'all would eat that. Salute that to a name, Dave. Thank you so much for being here. Also part of the lead attorney mastermind content creator. We have a salmon um, sushi roll. Oh, yeah, it's a seaweed paper. I got it. Thank you. Yes, yeah, seaweed paper. Parchment wrap filling. Look at Aaron. Cut into two rectangle pieces. Okay, so next time the other ones then fold over. Good idea. Yeah, cauliflower rice. Absolutely. You all can make this low carb rice, vegetables, cauliflower. So we're making it low carb. Ah, you can make it in a bowl, crumble the paper over top. Ah, okay, you can make it with shrimp, cut the second wrap. No, this was really helpful. I gotta get a picture, y'all. Okay, Tata says you can add the soy sauce and salt to the ingredients before putting it together so you don't have to dip it. Too much sauce will make it fall apart. Thank you. Hello, Linda. Let it sit for two minutes. Looks good. Y'all are dancing. Yes, yes. Okay, let's get our pictures, y'all. Y'all like it? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Let's get our pictures. And then I'll take a bite of this one. Because I can eat both of them. It's one filet of salmon. Yeah. Half an avocado. Like a couple spoons of rice, y'all. This is sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. 
We did it, class. So on Wednesday, we're going to do this with Miss Aisha, okay? So we have another cooking collab with Miss Aisha. Wednesday, we're going to do this again. I wanted to practice with y'all, so I'm ready. I wish my avocado side was, no, it's going to fall apart. I want the, I want to see the avocado more, but it's okay. So let's take a picture with the flash. I'm not an expert, but I try. All right, and let's get our video. <clears throat> All right, so today we made the salmon sushi wrap with cauliflower rice, seaweed paper, bourbon salmon. We have fresh avocado, mayo, and sriracha sauce with gluten-free soy sauce. Enjoy. All right, one last thing. I don't know, I'm just feeling like a little bit of sesame seeds. Unnecessary, yes ma'am? Okay, let's give it a try. Yeah, y'all, the only thing is this paper. All right, this one is actually in really good shape. So let's get in there. Oh, it disintegrates. Mm. The flavor is good, so good. I'm struggling with the paper, y'all. I think as I would probably have this as a bowl because it's just, it disintegrates, but then also <laughs> it disintegrates, but then it also pulls, you know, maybe I need to like bite more. I'm just gonna eat it with a fork. It is so good, y'all. I just hate that it looks that way, but <clears throat> This was it, class. We got it done. Golly. Oh, it just falls apart. Um, let's end with the commercial, y'all. We will do this again on Wednesday with Aisha. Okay. Now, this could be a really good date night, home date meal, because it's messy, kind of fun. Assemble it. This could be a great family meal. Have your ingredients out. Let everybody put what they want in it. The flavor is really, really good. I might try this with, y'all know my rice paper, rice papers. I'm hungry, y'all. The rice papers, maybe with that. It's just so messy. Okay, one last bite. Then we're going to do our commercial, and I'm going to let y'all have your evening. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you to my stream sponsor, N. Allen, for the $19.99. Thank you for coming through. One moment, y'all. Mm. If you can master that rolling technique, I see why now you want a bite size that you pop the whole thing in and just chew and swallow. Having to bite and pull some of it away, I'm struggling with that. So it's just the, the execution is a little difficult. Thank you so much. Okay, Tata says, last tip, you need to put more rice and push it together. Also try to make it small bite size like norimaki, the little small ones. No struggle with the biting paper. Got it. Cut the paper into little strips, mix it up in a bowl like a salad. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great first attempt. Yes. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for helping me to monetize my passion for food. Link to the course is in the description. Preview it for free. If you're interested in having a YouTube channel, book a consult with me if you want to talk one-on-one. -on -one. Cookbook is available. There's a discount code. We're updating it. Going to refilm the videos, updated pictures, but you'll get the new version for free if you've bought it. <clears throat> I think that's it. If there's more, thank you all so much for being here. So I'm going to go sit down and eat this with a fork. I am here for you every day, Maggie, the substitute teacher. So we will either cook tomorrow or someone has sponsored something special they want me to do. If I can prep for it, I will. And um, yeah, we'll see you all tomorrow. Wednesday, cooking with Aisha is Wednesday. So make sure if you want to do this, have your ingredients 
we are going to do this wrap on Wednesday with Miss Aisha. All right. So don't don't let her know that we practice. All right. Instagram class is dismissed. Thank you so much, Facebook and YouTube. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate you. Quiet Storm says Maggie delivered again. Well, we got the pictures, y'all. It's just the eating part. It's a little messy, but thank you. I appreciate that. Hmm. Sushi roll. No, oh, okay, Tata. No, thank you. Is it arigato? Thank you so much. Just call me Michaela. You loved every second. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening. I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you all so much for being here. Facebook and YouTube classes dismissed.